Many organizations go through identity transitions as members of the organization gradually come to terms with what the organization can actually become versus what they at one time thought it could be. But how do ongoing organizational identity transitions occur over long periods of time? By examining the unfolding identity processes of an organization euphemistically called Rebellion over a 10-year period, researchers were able to empirically track the subtle changes that occurred in the organization's identity meanings over its entire identity life cycle. As it turns out, most of the central identity labels at Rebellion were introduced by the organization's founders, board members, or senior managers between the organization's inception and its first notable identity transition a few years later. These initial labels guided the organization early on, but as internal and external crises occurred, both inside and outside the company, employees modified their understandings and expectations of what the organization could ultimately be. The employees modified this understanding by a process of adaptive sense-making. That is, employees slowly altered the meanings, expectations, and eventually the labels describing their identity via processes that ultimately reshaped the organization's identity. This reshaping occurred over a much longer period of time than researchers had previously been accustomed to. Additionally, whereas researchers in the past usually accounted for sense-making through overt manifestations, such as disasters and mergers, this study found sense-making to have occurred in far more subtle ways. Curious about the subtle but influential processes associated with the birth, development, and death of organizational identity? If so, then you will want to read this paper.